Hi guys and welcome back to the Print by Example YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be using a variety of different acrylics from CJP, Glitter Bells and Wow Bell along with the new Leopard Distressed, Distressed Leopard Print decals. I'll get it out in the end. <laughs> so I'm just showing you the colours I'll be using. I will list them below for you. So I'm first going to come in with coconut milk on the ring finger as that will be one of the fingers that I use that I will be applying the decals to. So I'll just let you watch this and then I'll be back in for the next part. On the index finger I'm going to be coming in with the ombre and that will be between the coconut milk and fantasy. So I'm just coming in with my coconut milk application. I put on my bead roughly where the natural free edge will be and then blend back towards the cuticle and then I bring the rest of the bead down to the end of the nail. And then I'll come in with um, other beads as and when I need them. So I won't be applying the fantasy yet, I'll wait for this to set up and then I'll come in with a fantasy colour later on. I'm just trying to remember what I do next. I believe it's the marble. So I'm coming in with Wow Bow's pool side now. It's such a pretty colour. It's a really nice colour. I've got a variety of different um, acrylics, but my main systems are Incandescent Shine and CJP. But I do have um, random colours here and there from other brands. So this part is now the pool side again, Pom Pom from Wow Bell, and then Bell from Glitter Bells. So I'm creating a marble with these colours. So I'm going to apply them to the nail, um, fairly wet, but not too wet. Um, and then get my brush to a point and then lightly drag through the colours, giving a bit of a wiggle to get the marble to the effect that I'd like. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the nail and I believe I come in with the um, Wow Yellow Glitter and Wow Blue Glitter that is also from Wow Bells. So I'll let you watch this and then I'll be back. Onto the middle nail now. I'm going to be coming in with the poolside pom pom and bell, 
as I'm going to be coming in with some glitters over the top. So I'm going to be creating an ombre with these. I forgot what I was going to say then. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm coming in with the pool side was the first bead and then pom pom, which is this part now. And then toward the end, coming in with Belle. And I will be ombre in that with Fantasy from CJP. But I do come in with um, some of the glitters first. But I'll wait for them to set up and then I'll do that part. Onto the thumb, I'm going to be coming in with a marble. And it'll be going into a glitter fade. See, these beads are just slightly too wet. So they'll start to run away from me. But I managed to save it slightly. <laughs> That's why you don't want them too wet. Too dry, they won't move. Too wet, they run away from you. I do change this now up slightly and I do come in with Fantasy from the cuticle down. As at the, um, toward the tip of the nail, I do come in with the glitters. Just to make it look a bit different than just a normal ombre marble. So I shall let you watch this and I'll come back shortly. So back to the middle now now, I'm coming in with the glitters, which is going to be the wow blue glitter, then the wow green glitter, and then the wow yellow glitter. And then once they're all set, I'll then come in with fantasy and ombre that down. So I'll just let you watch this, and I'll be back after a short break. I'm just closing the lids to my pots because I'm clumsy and I'm my luck. I'd end up shooting them everywhere. So once I have closed all the lids to my pots, I will then come in with Fantasy to complete the ombres. And then I will cap in crystal glass off camera and file and then I'll be back for the deco application.
So yeah, as you can see, I'm going to be using the new leopard, distressed leopard print decals. So I'm going to cut out my chosen decals that I'm going to be using and I'll soak them on a cotton pad for around 10 to 15 seconds. And whilst they're soaking, I'll come in with Incandescent Shine's base coat and apply that to the nails that the decals are going on to as it will help me manoeuvre the decals around without the risk of them tearing or spitting. They are very, very good quality decals and they are very sturdy, very solid and they are absolutely fantastic to work with. They lay perfectly fat, flat to the nail, fat, perfectly flat to the nail and they're great for encapsulating as well in acrylic or gel or anything like that. So they are well worth, well worth it. So yeah, once I've applied my decals and I'm happy with the position that they're in, I'll then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds and then you'll be coming toward top coat time. Off camera, I do decide to go in with a little bit of loose glitter just around the decals on the ring finger, just to give it a little bit of a, a zhuzhi up. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna thank you all for watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like and a comment if you feel like commenting and subscribe to the channel there are regular updates on a Tuesday and a Thursday from myself. Um, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed the design. And I shall see you all soon. Goodbye.